Welcome to the Novatech pump assembly area, where we focus on building three different types of pumps, our MVP, our silencer SVP, and our standard VPDB. Now let me, let's walk over here and discuss the features and benefits of each pump series. The pump I have to my right right here is part of our VPDB vacuum pump product line. It's a positive displacement blower pump. It's our standard unit, our main workhorse. And it is meant for, you know, moderate to long distance conveying systems. We have line sizes from one and a half to, this one's a three inch, all the way up to four. With our vacuum pumps uh, here at Novatech, we use all commercially available motors and blowers. Our VPDB series specifically has horsepower ranges range from three to 20 horsepower. With our blowers, all of our pumps utilize Gar and Gepper, of all due to our long, well standing of service history and availability. So Ryan, I see some hoses on the front of the pump. What, what, what's that all about? So we want to provide as much ease with the pumps for maintenance purposes. Uh, the valves are actually there so that you don't have to pull a drain plug, have a special canister. You just pop a zip tie, which is, a, which is there for shipping, just to prevent it from any you know, shipping issues and loss of oil. You pull the valve, have a container under here, and you drain the oil. So you can have a container sit under here and catch all the oil while you go over and drain the next pump. When you're done, you get to shut the valve and fill it right back up. For the most part, it's toolless. So it seems like it, both the oil change and servicing the filter look to be toolless and something that's pretty easy to do. Yes, and uh, that's something we always want to encourage because it'll extend the life of your pump unit. So now that we've discussed the VPDB, we're gonna move to our next series, the Silencer SVP. Now the Silencer, the SVP pump, it has all the same benefits as the VPDB, but has a few upgrades that allows it to be the Silencer series. It has the same clear bowl, idle valve, has the Gar and Denver blower, and a motor with a horsepower range of three to 10 horsepower. So Ryan, you call it the silencer. I assume that's because it was designed to be quieter than other pumps? Yes, uh, the goal in mind with this pump was to make it operate under 80 dBA. So we chose three to 10 horsepower because that was the the ideal horsepower range for where we were able to accomplish that along with these other features. Now these features include isolation pads preventing you know, the metal frame from clattering against a concrete floor, a specially designed silencer that helps lower that dB range over a standard silencer, and the commercially available Q series from Gar and Denver. So did, were you able to accomplish that objective of staying under 80 dB with most of the applications? Absolutely. And it's a big benefit to our customers because you can have an SVP that operates under 80 dBA over having a standard PD pump that has to have a sound enclosure to drop those dBs. So do you find that the pump runs cooler possibly because it's not in an enclosure or, or what are the other benefits? Yes, uh, the pump will run cooler than a, a standard PD pump that has to be in a sound enclosure, unless that sound enclosure is air-cooled, like we have for our offerings. Now that we discussed the SVP, let's look at the next pump that we have available. We have the MVP series, the Max Flow Vacuum Pump. This pump, different from the PD, has a special tri-low blower, also from Gar and Denver, commercially available and also utilizes a mechanical relief valve. And the purpose of that is to, because we're running at higher vacuums. So Ryan, what kind of applications would I need higher vacuum for? You would need higher vacuum for systems, let's say you are running excessive distances, much longer than a standard PD pump will handle. Or in cases where you need a slight boost in material throughput. Because of the higher vacuum, we're able to pull a denser load. 
So if I'm having problems, say, with my conveying system in my plant where I need a little bit more capacity out of it, could I substitute this pump in and get that? Absolutely. Um, there are a few other variables that will have to be looked into, but if you're putting this in direct place of a standard PD pump of the same line size, horsepower, let's say in place of a Novatech PD pump, yes, theoretically you will get a higher throughput. So uh, there are other companies that offer what they call high vacuum pumps. How is this different? Those high vacuum pumps that uh, other companies provide are primarily in the claw pump technology range. And those pumps are designed for excessively high vacuum performance, which can be really great in, let's say, dense phase conveying situations. Now, claw pumps can be detuned to run in a dilute phase situation to operate in more reasonable vacuum levels that would be beneficial for moving material in a dilute or strand phase conveying. But this series was designed to meet that high vacuum need at a much better price point.